door-to-door -door sales all through college because we have two track systems, we have the summers off. So I would haul her to Virginia, Chicago, North Carolina, New Mexico, Las Cruces, shout out, Tennessee, yeah, I love Tennessee. I made 24 grand my first summer as a college student, newlywed, it's insane. Then I made 60, then I made 74, then I made 115, then I made 140, okay? Then I graduate. I got my degree to join the corporate world, because guess what the corporate world brings? Benefits and a 401k match. So I am jazzed out of my mind. That's actually what brought us here to Utah. Suit and tie, which I'm used to that as a little missionary. I can wear a suit and tie all day. Clean, baby face, shaved, not allowed to have a beard. I'm doing well at the job. I pay 60 grand plus benefits. A company car, which really means they give you 300 bucks a month credit. It doesn't mean you actually get a car, which I thought. At my year mark, I'm just figuring out life. I'm looking back at all this crap. I went from making 140 in four months, 140, taking the rest of the year off, doing whatever the heck we want. I went from making 140 to the 60 grand normal salary. And I was starting to get mad. So did Dave Ramsey hurt me? Yes. Mm -hmm. I started getting mad and realizing, I was listening to people, these gurus, he would say things against Dave Ramsey and I'd get so triggered. Why? Pride. I was in denial. Denial. What I'm doing is right. I'm right. I'm right. Dave is right. So I started getting a little bugged about this. Realized after a year at corporate world, I was like, I'm going back to the doors. Door to door sucks. As anyone can attest that's done it. Absolutely sucks. You are the scum of the earth. What does that require you to do? Swallow that pride. Knock, knock. Hey, I'm here to suck. Worst job in the world. But I'm making good money again. Right? Then I started thinking, I had about 70,000 saved up, okay, from a life of slaving. I told you all my income up to that point. Max out 401ks, mutual funds were going up. What I thought 40%, but then spread it up, divided by eight, divided by inflation. So I started wising up to this and I was like, and we're taught debt is bad. I've always wanted to get into real estate. I'm gonna buy my first investment property, Duplex. Still have it. All of these Dave Ramsey years, I was wanting to get real estate. But what does Dave say about getting real estate? Buy it with cash. Who in the world <laughs> buys a house with cash? So it's been saving for 30 years. Jeez. Or what else? Always put 20% down. What are all these other things you've been taught your whole life? To avoid PMI. Also, do 15 years. By all means, pay cash. All these years of Dave Ramsey, I was learning from other gurus saying, make sure on your first real estate deal, you buy something that follows the 1% rule. Who knows what that is? As I learned these rules from YouTubers, I would then go out and look for properties. No properties ever met those rules. Ever. So I just kept getting pissed and pissed and pissed, but happy because I'm living a life of denial and happy that I am living the IRA 401k life. But finally, something snapped. If I don't take action, even though I'm clueless about real estate, absolutely clueless, I don't know anything. And you want to talk about my peers? All Dave Ramsey extremists. We all came from the same breed. Dead is bad. I say screw it. And on a $500,000 property, which is worth two times my primary residence, bought this property that made $200 a month, if everything went right. Yeah, but did you have your own property, your own personal residence at this point? Yeah. We bought it for about $300. So Carly did have a normal house and a normal life for a split second. <laughs> <laughs> so, this house is now worth 900. 